What's up, Miguel? How are you doing? I kinda wish I got to cast that 50 minute game. You know, slowly lose my mind. What's up, James?
I'm just wasting a little extra time because this game is super fucking short. Uh, so, and I don't have a second game as much as I want one. Ah, no need to cyber bully people. I mean, do you do you think that your the work guys would find it worthwhile for me to cast that? Because if that's the case, I'll do it. Because I need to just get some hours on this account, basically. Uh, if you don't think they'd find it worthwhile or fun or whatever, then no need. But, um, sorry, I know I just cut the music. Uh, I'm trying to find post-game music. We'll just call that good. Okay. But yeah, if they'd find it worthwhile, I'll, I'll actually cast it. Ah, yeah. No, if they'd find it worthwhile, then, then I'd do it. And I don't mean, like, learning necessarily, if it'd just be fun to have a game cast. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, welcome. Unfortunately, this is the only game that I'm able to cast from week two uh, that wouldn't be total total badness, I guess. Um, I guess I could recast game three if I wanted to. Um, I don't know if you guys would even find that enjoyable, but I could do it. Uh, it's up to you in the chat. I'm all for rubbing salt into wounds. I, again, just am doing this basically for the hour count on the stream. Uh, to recap what happened, uh, Gold won a really close 2-1 series. <laughs> uh, yeah, Gold won a really close 2-1 series uh, last week uh, against Team Zero in order to improve to 2-0. and zero. Diamond, unfortunately, lost to GSM, which, you know, uh, happens. They're unfortunately pretty good. And, you know, Tendi's diffed them one game, but not quite able to get that last one. And they'll fall to 1-1 one and one on the season. So, yeah. Uh, then we have this one. Uh, I don't maybe have access to it. Uh, we'll see by the end of the game. Uh, yeah. I can find out, I guess. We can delay. Uh, so yeah, this is game two from the Platinum game this week. Uh, some subs coming in. I'm just going to start it, and we'll introduce our teams on the blue side of the rift for game two. Uh, we'll be Return of the Middle Sticks in the top lane. Cardinals 29 subbing in, uh, playing Wukong. Liposuction lane into the jungle, playing Nunu. x Craze in mid on Orianna. And Caitlyn and Blitzcrank in the bottom lane for Winged Nation and Black Salt. On the other side, the enemy team wearing the red health bar is Tsuki VG. Uh, I guess he's a video gamer, potentially. Uh, for Lamp Post, playing Orn. Uh, Hastega in the jungle, playing Kane. The Leroy in mid, playing Kiana. And Renji with an extra eye for some reason. Has he always had an extra eye? Uh, and Dogmar in the bottom lane, playing Ziggs Karma. Uh, I actually like the Ziggs. Ziggs Karma is kind of the answer to Caitlyn. You still get the shove early, uh, but we're just going to trade early on. Uh, Leroy and x Craze. Oh, he gets slowed up by the Q Force to Flash. Got the Mana Flow proc, though. Minions have spawned. You know? Uh, ask what the value of a Mana Flow proc is. Probably not worth the Flash. Uh, but, you know? Sometimes you just gotta. Uh, anyway, uh, the Ziggs Karma is kind of the theorized counter to the Caitlyn lane, uh, where eventually you can poke her out. In in theory, it works really well. In practice, I 
don't actually see it work very often. It feels like early on, Caitlyn just still shoves you in because the autos do so much damage. You're forced to use up all of your mana. You have to hit that last lost chapter before you can even start to push back. And even then, Caitlyn usually can still shove you in depending on the support. The Karma's pretty strong though, uh, can help at least do some of that poke back. Uh, we'll see how Dogmar plays though, can very easily have that turned around by Black Salt. Uh, what other matchup do I know a little bit about? This one, in the top lane, Wukong into Orn. You play aggressively as Wukong, and you can get some trades. It's important that you have to break his armor with the Q before your trade starts going super well. So usually you want a Q early on in your combo. If you can walk up Q and then E for the extra attack speed, that's usually your ideal trade. Uh, of course, Tsuki not going to let that happen, unfortunately. Um, mid lane, I honestly have no idea. Uh, Oriana Kiana could go either way, as far as I'm concerned. Oriana probably bullies early, just melee into ranged, uh, but Kiana has really good kill potential. I don't know if she's been nerfed enough that it's like, ah, I can't 100 to 0 an Oriana with a one command protect. Uh, so maybe that's rough, but can get roaming. There's a lot of squishy targets, and that's a good pull from Black Salt to start things off in the bottom lane. Gets the headshot. Little trap by the minefield, so Wing Nation takes a pretty bad trade in return. Uh, overall, it's a little bit of split damage, unfortunately, for ROTM, as opposed to most of the damage going on to the Caitlyn. Uh, hopefully he can regen. He's got the fleet footwork to help a little bit. Ah, now with Mantra down, he should be a little bit safer. Hastega looking for something in mid. Leroy dashes in, has the audacity, has it all in, and actually just dies to an auto attack. I didn't think that that was enough damage. x is playing super aggressively. He gets the double kill. Lane's just going to roll in and say, eh. Whatever, you didn't need me. Cool. That's a, that's a statement from x Craze early. Getting the double kill. Leroy goes too aggressive early. Doesn't have Hastega there to back him up. And the combined damage of Leroy Hastega just can't chew through that command protect. Lane's here, bottom lane, getting some snowballs down. Not going to get the roots, but gets two flashes for the trouble. Has to be a little careful of the return damage. Oh, I thought that was a hook. The... God, that's rough. Okay, so those two skins together, the pulse fire with the eye blitzcrank, that hook looks the same as Piltover Peacemaker. You can probably really fuck with people from Fog of War with those skins. I don't know if that's like a, a thing that they're doing. They're going to get some kills because Lane just waited there and came back in with a snowball, really outplayed him. x is now trying to outplay the gank in mid. Leroy's got enough damage. The ignite ticking down isn't enough to protect. He's running away. Leroy has more dashes available. It misses the Q. Another dash forward. More autos. Still doesn't have it. Hostega can't close the gap. The execute only does 23 damage through the shield and he's going to live for now. There's no way he gets out of this. He's going to have to execute, but it's not going to be an execute. I think that that's enough time. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, Black Salt and Lipo are cutting the minion wave, and Renji's just getting zoned off of this. It doesn't even really matter if he dies in this situation. He's zoned off of so much farm. The turret plate goes over to Wing Nation. They have to be careful of Hastega now. Another flash from Wing Nation. They have a blast cone available if they can get to it. Can they all escape? Leroy's on the other side of the wall, though. Blast cone out to safety for lane and Black Salt. Presumably, Leroy's there, but not... Well, we'll get one. All right. Well, Leroy's got two kills. He's actually got a farm lead as well. Uh, he doesn't have the item lead necessarily, I, I guess. Maybe the trading power of the Corrupting Potion is better than a Cloth Armor. That's all the effective stats, though. Alright, Leroy's got the Q. The, uh... Supreme Display of Talent. God damn. Uh, Lamppost grabs the dragon. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, for them, at least. Uh, they get something. They're behind a thousand gold somehow. Uh, let's see how. It's mostly bot lane, I guess, uh, is going to be the real difference, and lane is just super ahead. Yeah, there's the trade. Yeah, he got the Q. You can see the broken armor off of the extra Q from Wukong. That's when your trade starts getting really good. Leroy dashes in, but he just doesn't have the raw damage. He's got the red buff. 
Uh, yeah. Wait, he's still going for this. Um, yeah, now he's trying to run away. That's the right maneuver. Hastega's there. He's level four? Why is he even there? What? Okay, well, um, cool. Cardinals is trying to clear this wave mostly. It's the tilt a whirl. Oh, that was not a good ornal. Lane's here. That's just a clone, so that's pretty good. Can he actually finish this one off without dying the clap? Oh, that was really close. All right, Cardinals gets the kill though. Uh, he has a cult? I guess he cheater recalled and bought the coal at some point. I, I haven't been paying attention to the top lane wave at all. They're even though, so nothing terrible has happened. This is where all the fun is. Uh, that's a 15 CS lead for Caitlyn just by existing, basically. Uh, cutting that wave into turret basically lost two or three waves of farm for Renji. And now he's trying to recoup that. In addition, you just don't get to have shove advantage at any point until you finish Lost Chapter, like I said. Uh, Hastig is here trying to equalize this. That's a teleport behind them. That's Cardinals coming in. Doesn't have Cyclone, but he'll, uh, he'll have a full health bar. Hastig is dead. Can they finish off another one? Dogmar should follow as well. He's got a Tiamat, which is kind of interesting. Um, they'll get the armor debuff. I don't think that's going to be enough for Wing to be able to ace on the whole end. But that's two kills for Cardinals. Really good teleport. Uh, I don't know why they're overextending that far through the minion wave with teleport up. And Tsuki used his teleport to top lane, so there's no equal equalization there. I that's kind of a thonker, I guess, if you're just running that through far through the minion wave. It just feels like it's it's not measured at all by Lamppost. Like they're they're going super aggressive in situations where they can't, and that's that's the whole game so far. Uh, it, it's just been ROTM punishing. Lane's made a couple of good ganks, but it hasn't been through jungle pressure. It hasn't even really been through individual laning power. It's just been Hastega going too ham in certain situations. Now Leroy going a little bit too far forward. Black Salt is here. I don't think they can really find a hook. Hastega misses the blade's reach, so yeah, nothing happening. He still just needs to power farm and hit six. He's two levels behind lane right now because he's died three times. Like, I, he's going to transform eventually, maybe, but he is so far behind the 8-ball right now. Oh, hook not quite going to land there from Black Salt. Neither is the Kiana ult. Uh, I, I don't know about this pick for Leroy. I, he does not look comfortable using that ultimate. Anyway, we're going to drop the Rift Herald top. Trying to interrupt it with the Snowball. That was kind of cute. He's got ult available for the shield. And a good finish off. That was a good dive. Ah, if he lives. Oh. I thought he got out of there. Lane could have tanked one more tower shot for him. Been a super bro. But honestly, this is still pretty worth. You're getting Ornn off of the map. You get the trait of kills. And you'll get more uh, pressure from Lane on this tower. It's not like the greatest ever, especially if you have Wukong, I think you can take the tower, but yeah, it happens. Um, yeah, look at the CS lead in bottom. That is opening up, and he's got Lost Chapter finally, so maybe Renji can start clearing back. He'll have access to his Mega Inferno Bomb, uh, but you're pretty far behind right now. I don't know. Yeah, you're not close to infinity edge completion but that's really where it'll get scary is if wing can finish infinity edge even around the same time as ludens for renji x craze uh yeah just gonna kill him uh, i think he died no no protect is good yeah that was closer than i thought it would be but um x craze lives and once again hastega is experiencing gray screen and now that'll be the first dragon of the game for RTM. They're up 12 to 4 in kills. They have, you know, chunked through these turret plates. Mega Inferno Bomb? Yeah, that's scary, but not quite enough. Are these the only plates? Yeah, just the, the one plate so far in top lane might turn into two. 
Uh, it might eventually be two. But just the turret plate difference right now. Renji's just trying to come in, gonna get snowballed down by liposuction lane. Uh, he doesn't really have damage or follow-up right now, so he's kind of off in no man's land, just trying to dodge through, gets knocked out of his ult, has the absolute zero, though they have no more CC. Hook just sails a little wide. They're trying to kill off Dogmar. Uh, Winged actually just isn't contributing right now because he can't, because he can't walk through the turret, but... Uh, yeah, meanwhile, Cardinals is in the top lane, just gonna get the casual solo kill? Yeah. Uh, there's the traits when you shred the armor, by the way, just to show that I'm not, like, the worst Bronze 1 analyst that has ever Bronze 1 analyst. Ooh. Oh, Renji lives. That was honestly closer than I thought it would be. I, I guess I have no feel for how much Caitlyn does at level 1. Or rank 1, even. So, like, that was the absolute best trade Leroy could have taken. Like, he rotated through two elements, got the snare, got the extra execute damage, and he still lost the trade because he got hit by one Q and an auto. Like, ah, I don't know what you do then. Like, you're supposed to roam, but he, he can't because he's been forced under his turret pretty much the whole time. Another ult gonna land onto him. x is just trying to chase him down like the degenerate he is. I feel like you just let the minions take it at that point. Maybe that's 2BM. You need to give him a little bit of benefit of the doubt. But you know he has no flash. He's only got the one extra dash. Uh, Black Salt getting a little over aggressive for this ward, potentially. Ah, uh, Lane is here. I, I don't know where Lane came from, but uh, that's kind of neat that he's there. Uh, actually, the whole squad is here. Winged is the only one not here. It's a double kill for Cardinals. Why are they just in the jungle? Cardinals didn't TP there either. He just walked down. I don't have objective timers up because I'm a really good caster. But, uh, yeah, Cards just walked in there and tore some people up. He's got seven kills on the Wukong. The early Tiamat. It's the tech. Uh, I just personally haven't been doing team I'm not memeing that it's bad or anything. Uh, I've been like strictly like Trinity Force or Bork first. No team at. I think it's fine though, especially to help you wave clear into matchups where your opponent has a lot of wave clear. I don't know that that's necessarily the Orn matchup, but yeah, there's big analysis. Uh, he's gonna die though. That's uh, a pretty big shutdown onto Tisuki. Uh, Renji is gonna die on the other side. This one is not as big, but. Uh, 300 gold to Black Salt. Lane playing with him. x craze is here. Do they actually have the damage to get through this? Oh, he hit an ult. All right, Leroy hit an ult. It's a landmark watershed moment for Lamp Post. Uh, he gets his ass eaten, though, by Nunu, so that's a little unfortunate. I guess that's Willimp that ate the ass. Uh, Nunu not really involved in the ass eating. Um, Hostega is also dead. Does not get his ass eaten, importantly. Just gets hit by a ball to the face. Um, so, you know, sometimes you get your ass eaten, sometimes you get balls to the face. Uh, this is not a sexual innuendo, though, by any means. I, I don't have more analysis. This, uh, this game's pretty over. Um, I, I'm just gonna tab over to the gold just to show you how over this is. Uh, but no one's close in gold. Um, even even Dogmar is down 1,300 to his lane opponent, so that's pretty rough. Uh, basically what happened is uh, these mid-game teamfights have just snowballed out of control. Hastega finally got Rost, but it just doesn't matter as far behind as they are. Uh, every single lane was a losing lane matchup. Straight up. Uh, maybe Orin is e even into Wukong, but Cards has played that really well. Uh, but yeah, Kiana doesn't seem to be the matchup into Oriana. Just cannot burst through that command protect. We talked about bot lane at a little bit of length. It just looks like a bad draft. And then uh, 
you know, not not great execution on top of that. Uh, not to completely flame, I, I'm sure. Like, they seem like a decent team, but it just isn't working this game. I, I'm sure they can turn things around, mostly because I know that they, they take game one and they take game three to 50 minutes. But, um, you know, spoiler, this one going to go the way of ROTM. Uh, I, I think that that's not going to surprise anybody listening. Even those without prior knowledge, I, I don't think it would be surprising, necessarily. Uh, just a little wide there from Black Salt. This might be a little overextension. Do they actually have the damage to get through anybody? That's a lot of shields. Uh, good Kiana ult. Gonna trade one back. Lane's gonna die. They got two. Alright, that's respectable. I feel it for Lamp Post. They're gonna just get aced because no one ran away after that, but, you know... Uh, yet. Yeah. I don't know what Tisuki's plan is, but he's, uh, he's got to get out of there. Is x Craze actually going to chase him down? Alright, uh, I think that's a surrender. Yeah. A has Ooh. So it doesn't matter if Orn gets out or not, because he's just permanently going to be stuck in that tri-bush for all of eternity. Uh, yeah. So that's, that's not a close game. That was, in fact, the the not close game of the series. Um, I don't really have analysis. I kind of gave it like I think it's just a really bad draft from Lamp Post. It gave them exactly zero win conditions as a team comp and as individual lanes. I think that Leroy looked kind of uncomfortable in the Kiana early on. He turned it on, uh, but it's almost like he was rusty on the pick and was pulling it out. I don't know if that's necessarily the case. Uh, he was the one that was able to finish off kills, but um, yeah, they got, they just got smacked. And even with Ziggs to stall the game out, you were against Oriana Caitlyn, so you can't, it, yeah. I, I just don't know that there was a win condition for that draft in this game. Like, Outside of just absolutely being better players and outplaying people, which is hard to bank on, even in a Platinum League. Uh, yeah, I'm going to see if I have access to Game 3 from the series. And if I don't, uh, you know, we'll, we'll figure something out maybe. But, uh, oh, I hate this one. Uh, give me this one. Oh, this one's called Honky Step. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, we'll be right back. Um, I'm gonna see if I can find... I don't know why I'm memeing so hard in that shit. God, that is terrible. 
Why does it being backwards hurt my eyes so bad? Hi, Parker. Or did Diamond play a scrim this weekend? This, uh, this chipset music is kind of annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Uh... For full disclosure, I've watched part of this game, but not the entire thing, and I barely remember what happens, so... This is more or less blind. God, this is super annoying. I, I'm gonna have to pick a different one for post-game. Is this one better? Alright, I already like it better. That one didn't hurt my ears. Alright, uh, yeah, so welcome back. Um, this is game three between uh, RTM Platinum and Lamp Post. Uh, at this point, the series is tied 1 1. I know this game was already on stream, but I'm going to recast it because I got nothing better to do with my life, uh, essentially, and I hope that you enjoy my funny, humorous insights into the game rather than whatever the GRLCS streamers had to say. Uh, yeah, flame aside, let's go! Uh, on the bottom side of the rift, uh, once again, wearing the blue health bars is Return of the Middle Sticks. In the top lane, Cardinals, reprising his role on Wukong. Liposuction lane in the jungle on Foley Bear. x Craze in mid playing LeBlanc. And Winged Nation and Black Salt in the bottom lane playing Caitlyn and Morgana, which is actually more annoying than the combo they played last game. Uh, on the other side of the rift, wearing the red health bars, our lamp post uh, in the top lane, Tsuki Video Games is playing Chogath. 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 How does Valdez say it? It's Chogath, I think, is what he says. Um, anyway, uh, Hastega in the jungle playing Echo. V. Leroy on Ari and Renji and Dogmar playing Ezreal Nautilus. Is that a chroma for the Astro Nautilus? Oh, I think I, I missed that somehow. I, I don't know what event that was during. Cause yeah, like the, the new astronaut skins came out. I guess I guess that was a part of it. That one's pretty cool. I like that. I think I just didn't do that event. Alright, uh matchups. Uh let's look. Bottom lane, Caitlin Morgana just wins because like I don't know that there's a better bottom lane combo. I, I feel like the only things that have chances against it are like Ash Karma. Like you go kind of equally pokey, equally disengagey, but not stuff that is super easily black shielded. Uh, Ezreal Nautilus is okay synergy, but like realistically, when are they ever going to shove? Um, yeah. Like, unless they get a lot of jungle help or they're just god gamers, they're just never going to get the shove uh, in this lane, so they're going to spend a lot of time underneath their turret. Uh, Ari versus LeBlanc actually is pretty Ari favored. I, I think I know that about the matchup because when she dashes in, you can just hit charm, uh, unless you just don't hit level 2 right away, in which case you can't do that. But um, it's like relatively defensive for Ari, which can be a little bit of adjustment too. But I think if played well, uh, should be already favored. Uh, top lane. 
it's kind of a wash, honestly. Like, uh, Wukong is pretty good into Cho'Gath, but you have to have a, your mana pool there so that you can dodge things. Uh, if you can't dodge ruptures, then you just lose the lane. So it's a little bit of skill, uh, I guess, rather than, you know, just abject. I'm just going to beat on you, and if I have more damage than you have health, I win. So that's kind of nice. Um, so yeah, this is more options for Lamppost than they had in, in the last game, where they picked three losing lanes and then lost them all. Uh, so I like their setup better, and early flash out of Tsuki feels pretty good for RTM to start off. Um, my voice is already kind of shot after just talking for 18 straight minutes, so I'm going to be a little uh, less enthused this game, I think. Cardinals dashes for it. That's a really nice timing into the stun, and first blood for Cardinals. Really nicely played uh, by lane and Cardinals up in the top lane. Ooh, Black Shield used on the Wing Nation, so they're going to grab Black Salt. That's a good trade. I like that. That's about the only way you win trades uh, against Caitlyn Morgana. So, you know, good props, good heads up by Dogmar to grab that hook. What was the Pulse Fire event? Ooh. Yeah, Charm onto X Crazy gets into turret range. Ah, I don't think that Ignite's going to do it, but that's, uh. It's going to send it back to base. Pretty sure. I don't think you can sustain that even with the health pots. Uh, lane fight has, Uh, Was he just trying to run away at the same time as... I, I don't really know. Uh, anyway, they're kind of pinched here. This is rough. They're getting collapsed on by LeBlanc. Lane gets taken pretty low, but it's a good black shield from Black Salt. Now teleport in from Cardinals and a counter teleport from uh, T. Suki. They're going to trade two kills now as x Craze shows back up to pick up one. One more auto for Hostego will do it. They're trying to chase down the Cho'Gath. I think Cardinals will finish him off. Yeah, it's just a matter of can Black Salt get out of here. He's got nowhere to run, really, so it's a double kill for Hostega. Now Leroy gets the charm, trying to run away, gets the move speed. Extra dash from Cardinals. I don't think he's got this. Ooh, he's going to flash. He goes aggressive. He's got the killing spree. Now just needs to run away from Hostega. That was a mess. Um, oh, it still might not be over. Wing, I think he hit the blast cone. That might have just ruined himself if he did. I, I don't know exactly what happened there. They're going to lose the scuttle crab at the very least. Um, yeah, if we're going to take stock of that, I think that's four for three in favor of RTM. Uh... In terms of lane states, it doesn't really affect anybody. Who's the big recipient? It looks like it's Hostega on the Echo. Uh, got all of the gold pretty much from that fight for Lamp Post. Um, who got the gold? It looks like it's Cardinals. Yeah, Cardinals got three kills, but it's more evenly spread. You got one on x Craze, you got one on Wing Nation. Uh, lane is just doing the wolves for some reason. Um, Gonna get caught by Hostega. I think they, he was hoping Hostega went for a back. Black Dirk Binding land onto Renji in the top lane, though. That's uh, not a good trade for Tizuki. Oh, he still has the dash. The Nimbus strike into the bop. And Cardinals gets the solo kill in top lane. How dirty is Cardinals? Um, he's he's pretty nasty. Like That's, uh, that's a pretty fed Wukong early on. Uh, your solo kill actually just wasn't on here. So that's kind of neat. <laughs> oh, I didn't know if it was a solo killer in the team fight. I don't know why I'm interacting with chat rather than watching the game. Charm misses. But yeah, that's that's kind of the the difficulty of the matchup. God, I hate that Ari skin. I, I don't know why this skin bothers me so much. It looks like if uh, the challenger Ari just got like a yellow muffler, or it looks like if Katie Ari just had her suit pissed on. It's just not an attractive color scheme. IMO. I'm sure other people agree. I'm sure other people disagree, though. And I like the adaptation. We saw him go the Tiamat build last game uh, for Cardinals, and this game has the or is headed for the Blade of the Ruin King, which will help chunk through the Cho'Gath. Uh, double chain from X Craze. Does he actually have the finish off damage? Leroy dashing away has another Spirit Rush charge. Gets a fruit. Got to be careful for Hostega. Ooh, just dashes away from the charm. Gets the clone. Twenty-five gold. 
Poggers. It sounds really weird when you just say the word poggers out loud. I'm not like Caps, I can't make it. Holy poggers! Or however he says it when he played Vayne. Um, yeah, uh, I'm solo casting after a full day of work again, so apologies if I just ramble in a random direction. Or, you know, talk into my hand rather than a mic for a second. Uh, Tsuki should be dead. This is... Oh! Got the flash! Gets knocked up! Does he have the E? Does he have a clone? Oh, don't dive. Oh, don't do it. Okay. Uh, that's a lot of minions, though. Oh! Oh, he doesn't have boots yet! Oh, no! Alright, well... Uh, unlucky. Uh, so against Cho'Gath, it's really important to get boots. Oh, he had... Oh, he's got free-ass boots. Okay. Um... God. It's so specific against Cho'Gath. But you can't go free ass boots against Cho'Gath because you need boots to be able to dodge Rupture unless you have clone up. So if you're ever aggressive and use your clone, then you can't dodge Rupture. But like legitimately the movement speed difference between uh, brown bag boots and not having boots is enough to get you out of Cho'Gath Rupture 100% of the time if you're good. Uh, like if, you, if you're starting to pre-dodge or, you know, he hasn't, you know, closed the gap or whatever. Um... But yeah, uh, if you go free ass boots, now he's fine. But just that little window where he didn't have boots against Cho'Gath and he's able to hit two ruptures on him. Super unlucky. And that's all champions, all matchups against Cho'Gath. You have to get boots. No, you you need boots to dodge Cho Q. It's, it's actually just the timing of that ability. Anyway, uh, Charm lands on to X-Rays. Oh. Gonna get hit again anyway. Uh, I don't know why lane's invading right now. Oh! Wait. Does that knock over walls? Um. Yeah, I, I don't... I don't actually know what happened right there. That was super weird. Did he try to go over too thick part of the wall and it didn't get him halfway over even though the indicator was over there? He didn't get charmed out, did he? No, you can't get charmed out. I I don't understand with the indicator over the wall. That's the weirdest part about that to me. Uh, anyway, more trades uh, in mid. Oop, not getting hit by the orb. Yeah, uh, Lamp Post gonna take advantage of this. They're gonna go ahead and grab. Ooh, that was a nifty little dodge of the charm that made me apparently regress to seventh grade. Uh, now we might be in trouble though with the Echo Gank. Yeah, just safely goes around his Raptor Pit. Gonna lose a couple CS, but whatever. Uh, all right, it's like a seven hundred. 800 gold lead for RTM. Let's see who has the gold. Uh, no one's super obvious. I guess it's a thousand gold lead right now in the bottom lane for Wing Nation. Still has that big CS lead, uh, but you're behind uh, if you're Hostega. Like Hostega and Leroy have the advantage in mid jungle. Um, we'll see if they can continue bullying because we're starting to get toward, you know, Caitlyn's going to stop being super hyper bully and echo's just behind them right now hook gonna get black shielded dash forward on to wing nation hostega gonna get snared up that's a really good morgana ultimate they're just giving him no options as he gets shut down by caitlin that was really nicely done uh by black salt and wing nation um oh another binding i don't yeah not quite gonna get the quality off of that one but uh, teleports down from the top lane. Actually, both of them matched again, so you're on the same timer once a motherfucking again. Uh, 35 seconds on Dragon, so there's still nothing to fight over down in that bottom lane other than just kind of the tricky path from Hostega to get behind. 
Ah, uh, good charm from Leroy. Ooh, that might be better than a good charm. Gonna dash forward, another Spirit Rush. Spirit Rush actually doesn't do any damage. Uh, kind of weirdly enough. It looks like it does a lot of damage, but it just doesn't. Ooh, the charm to interrupt the dash. That was nice. Yeah, Leroy looks infinitely more comfortable on the Ari than he did on the Kiana. Now the flash forward from Dogmar. Baits out the Black Shield. Dead, Wing Nation. Nicely done by the bottom lane of... Uh, I guess not even really the bottom lane. Renji didn't do a whole lot, but uh, Dogmar played that really well. The Demacian president going to go take the dragon now. Cardinals. Ooh, I don't know if he wins this fight 100%. Yeah, just going to take it safe. Especially now with the Super Soaker down. Uh, also, he went Super Soaker, has the Glacial build. I, I haven't even mentioned that so far in the game. But this is going to be... A a little annoying for a while because he's just gonna have the shove. You can bork him and get a good trade though. But you have to be careful just because Choga has sustained. Yeah, it, it's a it's a lane. Um, uh, gold's actually even now uh, after that shutdown in the bottom lane and the dragon. Lane gonna go in and get charmed. Hastega looking for something, but not gonna find that parallel convergence. I think that's parallel convergence. Wait, he got the full turret plate just from dashing in there? That's OP! Uh, Black Salt not able to find that binding, gonna force the flash out of Renji. He's stuck under tower, has the cleanse available. Ace in the hole, not quite gonna be enough damage. Uh, now Dogmar throws his anchor directly into terrain. Still has the ult. They're trying to collapse, but there's no one quite here. Black Salt has to be careful. Oh, that stopwatch is actually gonna kill him. That's so tragic. Oh! Oh, is that enough damage? One more auto! Oh, he hit the recall. Okay, that was super close. Leroy trying to do what he can. This is a mess. Winged hits the Q. Hostega's pretty low. Lane should finish him off. Yeah, x rays will finally get it with the... Sigil of Malice? I'm going to be really proud if I got that. Is it still called Sigil of Malice? It is. Okay, cool. Neat. I wanted to call it Orb of Deception, but that's Ari's Q. Ah, 25 gold. Turinji. If anyone's out of the loop, I'm memeing that because uh, LS got really mad on a broadcast that one of the pro teams didn't kill the LeBlanc clone when it was free, because it's a free 25 gold, essentially. Which is reasonable at a pro level, but like, it feels weird to see people just throw abilities into the LeBlanc clone to kill it. It looks like a meme, and it feels like a meme. It's probably not really a meme. Anyway, 9-7, uh, small lead for RTM right now. Uh, we gotta pace ourselves. Uh, we're in for a marathon, not a sprint this game. Um, Dragon Soul's Cloud, which... Eh. It's good on the Nautilus. It's good on the Ar Like, it's good on champions in this game. I just... It never feels that rewarding to have Cloud Soul. It's not like game-breaking. It's pretty good. Another turn for Leroy. They're trying to set something up, but instead it's Dogmar that's here. Just gonna hook in that clone. Ah, just take that 25 gold. Oh, they didn't take it this time. Well, sucks to suck, I guess. Uh, X Craze, you, you can't, you can't do that, honey. Um, Black Salt's up in the top lane. They're trying to collapse. They should get this kill pretty free on Tisuki. Tisuki, Suki. Yeah, uh, Leroy gets out with just a tick of health. x is gonna get turned on by Dogmar. I don't know that he has just the raw damage. He actually just never finishes that auto as uh, Hastega comes in. Somewhere off screen, Leroy dies. Um, there's a lot of clones and shifty shit that's happening. Uh, so I can't really tell what's going on, but Wing picks up another kill. Hastega's got 200 health and he just gets auto down. That was a crit. Uh, double kill for Wing Nation, so that feels pretty good. Uh, Renji just wasn't involved because he's Ezreal, and why would you get involved if you're Ezreal? Uh, so yeah, that'll be towers for RTM. Mid towers should be at least some damage on top tower as well. Gotta be careful though, Tisuki can chase people down. Not gonna get in range for the Super Soaker though. 
this is kind of an unfortunate timer. You win that big fight, but it's f still 40 seconds for Dragon, so now you're just going to recall and fight again. Um, at least in most circumstances, because most plat teams just aren't willing to give up a Dragon for free, unless they absolutely have to. Not that I think that ROTM's in a position where they're like, give. I, I think that Lamp Post should give. Because uh, I don't think that they just straight win a 5v5 fight unless they get a lot of big individual outplays right now. Or if they get a pick to start it off, uh, that could be good too. x craze Super Soakered. And dodges back to the Rupture, but it's not quite going to be enough. Yeah, it gets hit by the Time Winder. Uh, so yeah, the the setup that I just said is uh, accurate. We just fought again for no reason, and x Grace died. So now it'll be a dragon going to Lamppost. I don't know if there's significance behind Lamppost. Maybe they like Jax. Oh! Oh, that was not clean in any way. Uh, Tisuki had Feast up and just feasted first? Even though that's the higher execute damage ability? And then Hastega didn't smite. He actually just killed it with Q. Uh, so I think Tisuki just didn't know his damage. Charm on the Cardinals. He's trying to turn this one. Ooh, can he even get out? Leroy gets knocked into the dash. Yeah, they have enough CC. And they in the hole's not quite going to be enough for Wing Nation. So a couple of, couple of uh, you know, kind of loose picks as uh, x Craze gets picked and then Cardinals gets picked. It's still a general lead for RTM, but it feels like they're losing a lot of that map pressure. They're losing a lot of that advantage right now. And Lamp Post got ha has their Dragon Ticker rolling, which, again, is, is nice. I don't know that it's game-breaking to get Cloud Soul, so it's... You know, I'm not going to overvalue it and say that's GG. Uh, Lane doesn't win this fight in any regards, so he's just here to clear the wave, I assume. One of these days I'm going to spring for a co-caster for these. It's hard because all of my co-casters play in Platinum. Uh, so if you're on the Diamond or Gold team and want to cast, uh, hit me up. Uh, that'd be fun. Um, so that I don't have to sit here and babble to myself for two hours, roughly. I guess it won't be that long. It'll be like an hour and a half at the end. Um, yeah. Uh, where are we? We're a thousand gold for ROTM. We're kind of just slowly resetting around the map. There's a dragon in three minutes. Baron's up, but neither team can super take it well. Um, yeah, you got Iceborne finished for Renji. I always just kind of detest it, not for any real reason other than it's personal. Um, Black Salt able to bait pretty well, but they don't have the damage necessary. Wing. Just can't focus on one target for long enough to finish anybody off. Now X-Craze can, fortunately, dash forward. Cardinals is looking for more dashes forward. Hits one person with the Cyclone. Just shredding through Tsuki's armor. Gets hooked back in by Dogmar. Can they actually finish this one off? Ah, they can't. Lane doesn't have the ult available. The net isn't quite enough. X-Craze doesn't have enough with the Sigil of Malice. Oh, it's super unfortunate. Nobody has health on Lamp Post, but... They all have at least more than one. x Craze is hunting for more kills, but I don't favor his chances necessarily. Yeah, if that... If those three kills go down, this isn't a 50-minute game anymore. <laughs> Ooh. Just... The edge. Renji not quite going to get hit by that Piltover Peacemaker. x Craze has to run away. The speed boost into the dash, and another unfortunately for lamp post oh a second super soaker we're running the double soaker comp lane flashes away wing just minding his distance has those two big items for caitlin uh which means that he's probably super ahead actually oh yeah three thousand gold ahead of ezreal right now that is not understated those uh headshots are chunking 
But it's really hard to finish people off as Caitlyn. You need somebody to go in, and X-Craze just not quite able to finish him off. Cardinal's not able to finish him off. And so everybody limping away from the fight. I don't understand. Why does Cloud give more vision cones? Like, Scryer Orbs. Like, I know they added it. I don't understand the thematic reason, right? Like, it's more blowy, so we get more... I, I don't know. Maybe I'm missing it. Uh, Alright, 20 seconds on this dragon. Uh, it's... It would represent salt point for lamp post. It doesn't represent a whole lot of anything for ROTM other than it's going to make the game really long. Uh, at least in terms of that particular win condition. It's going to be a long time if they get this dragon uh, before we get soul. All right, take down the blast cone. That's at least one way that they can't get over. X Craze takes a little chunk out of Hostega, and they'll start up the dragon. Yeah, they actually just can't get through here without stepping on the traps. That's So look at all the time that's wasted. If you just decide to give up the dragon early, you can push that bottom or the top wave in and get the tower. You can push the mid wave in and have mid prio. But instead you you get nothing. You just lose the dragon and yeah. Um I, I don't really know what Lane's doing there. I, I know he's going vision. Like, it's obvious what he's doing there, uh, but it's not obvious why he's doing there. And now the rest of the team might get caught as a result. That was a couple of orbs that went down on top of Black Salt. He's trying to play frontline right now because Cardinals is in deep looking for it. Big soul shackles from Black Salt. It's just not quite enough damage on anybody as x Craze dives forward. L Leroy goes down, but Tsuki trades one back. Wing Nation still just pelting down damage on the back and ace in the hole will finish off Renji as nobody stepped in front of it for him and Hastega Dogmar and Tsuki forced to run Cardinals still looking for that chase x Craze finds Hastega in the midst of everything Parallel Convergence going to slow Cardinals down but he'll have Nimbus strike up I don't think he wants to use it though it's a good fight for ROTM I don't know about Uncle Aaron that's that's excessive That just makes me feel old. I don't know. Um, yeah. Uh, RTM got a small win during that. Winged is still huge. Uh, that gap isn't getting smaller between the 280 carries. Uh, and soon Winged will be on his Storm Razor. Do you actually just go Storm Razor third? That's interesting. Um,. Meanwhile, x Grace is saving up for a really expensive item. He's going for Death Cap second, but he has no farm, so he's kind of behind the eight ball. Leroy has two items finished up. I don't know about the utility of having a Morello Namicon in this game, but he's got one. It prevents the healing from Cardinals in lane, I guess. It's It's fine. All right, I think this part's going to be a bit boring for for a little bit. Um, what do you guys want to talk about? Um, you know, uh, conference finals for hockey going on. Uh, check out uh, Vegas versus Dallas tonight. Should be pretty good. I think it's at 7. Um, so yeah, if you want my, my big live viewing recommendation, that would be it. Uh, Dogmar just dies. I, I, I don't know about contesting that vision in that situation. I also don't know about rushing Baron if you're ROTM. Uh, nobody can really tank it for a long time other than Cardinals. They're trying to find that chunk, but it's a charm. Oh! 
That's so much damage. It didn't hit the Baron. So that's the full damage from Renji onto x craze and picks him off. And that's going to stall any Baron vision getting from our TM. Cardinal's doing a good job down here. Um, it just kind of sucks that he can't really break through anything. He's just going to have to continually shove waves until something breaks. Maybe get an auto or two on the tower each time if he can get in. Oh, they're going to turn off the tower. This is a big dive. They're committing a lot to this, and they'll get it. Really nicely done. Oh, but what is this path? Why are you here? Wing force to net away. He's going to die to Hostega on the back end of this one. I'm just going to predict that. Black Salt forced to, into the Zanyas. He'll get hooked back in. Dogmar plays that one pretty well. Uh, it actually was... Oh, yeah. No, it, it was totally Hostega that killed him. Oh! And the uh, Chrono Break for the double kill for the Echo. Um, yeah, so that's not a good path from Black Salt and Wing. That's kind of the, the result of that. Unfortunately, they got the free dive onto Tsuki, which was good, but not able to follow that up with anything because everybody's kind of separated. Expert analysis. Uh, hopefully better than the mainstream. That, that's all I care about. Uh, five seconds on Cloud Dragon, so we're going to fight again because why not? Uh, x Grace is actually dead. There's no chance of him getting out of that. <laughs> I liked the little trick that he played with the clone. Like, that was really nicely done. But yeah, there's there's no reason to contest that. And yeah, now RTM actually just going to give up the dragon for free because they have to. So it's soul point for Lamp Post. I think I asked earlier, Lamp Post, just Jax fans, potentially. Their picture's literally just a Lamp Post. It's not like Jax's Lamp Post, in particular. So that's kind of interesting. It is a really nice Lamp Post, to be fair. Uh, so now we're on Wave Clear. Cardinals is going to try to find the pick, but Hastega is already here. Now we'll see how tricky Cardinals is. Can he dash in? He doesn't have W available, I guess. Uh, so Hastega just takes him down. He's pretty big on the Echo. Uh, 10 and 5 right now. Um, gonna be the big lead. Oh, the hook onto Black Salt, though. Winged is running away, but he'll just get zeroed out by Hastega. x is trying to turn one back, but they're just not gonna find it. Oh! Never mind, he'll flash in and get it. Good for him. I didn't think he'd guess right. I thought for sure he'd think that it was going back behind him. Uh, yeah, so that's really well done. And now I'm gonna Righteous Glory under the tower. So again, everybody kind of split, not playing around Wing Nation, who is really the damage source. And we're seeing a lot of dives from Cardinals in lane. I almost just want to see someone try to peel the Echo. <coughs> I don't know that it matters in that particular fight because the positioning from it everybody was just kind of all over the place but yeah um you can feel the game start to tip now uh renji has finished up his death stance so he's actually a character on ezreal um and will output a ridiculous amount of damage if he's given the opportunity to start building up those conqueror stacks uh lane cannot lock in here this is not ideal um i mean at the same time you're forced to because they could be doing baron but I don't think that Baron is a lose condition in that particular situation. I think you just give it. If I'm being entirely honest, I don't... I don't know. This is kind of results-based analysis, uh, to be entirely honest. Uh, Suki should be able to feast this, right? Well, there was a small opportunity to get that away from him. It was an 800. I don't know that anything other than, like, a, a Volley Q plus Smite would do 800, but... And even then, I don't know that Smite does that much at 14, at level 14. It's probably only in this 600, 700 range right now. Anyway, now I'm just mumbling to myself about numbers that I don't actually know. 
Hostega tried to steal that. He was gunning for that red buff. Renji said no. Alright, ping's going out around this dragon. There's still a minute 45. So they're going to set up deep vision and just try to bait somebody in here, it looks like. Tisuki's going to take this tier 1. I, I like taking the free gold. I don't know about grouping up around it. This is just really dangerous. Oh, Leroy and Cardinals. Oh, they didn't know he was there. They almost hit him anyway. Alright, x Craze is getting a tier 1 up in top, which is at least a trade so far. He doesn't have teleport, so he's got to straight back and then run. They've already lost tier 2. This Baron buff is still going to last a while. Uh, so you can take a couple of waves. Be patient if you're lamppost. Or you can get really impatient if you want to, but um, the patient game would be the, the higher percentage play. But yeah, Wing just trying to trap this one up. Tower's getting low. You can already see this each really starting to pay off for him. Cardinal's looking for the engage, but he can't find anything. Hook gonna land onto liposuction lane, force him to jump away with the volley R. Black Salt gets knocked up. Dogmar rooted. Dogmar! That was really weird that the camera just like locked on x craze for a second, but uh, Dogmar's fine. And it's 20 seconds to drag it. That was really nicely played by Lamp Post. They don't get the inhibitor, uh, maybe importantly, so they don't have that big shove. This is this is a hard contest. I I don't know if I'm ROTM if I even try. Uh, they're going to anyway. They actually pick off Hestega, so uh, the smite's down. Leroy jumps forward. Leroy gets zeroed out. Winged is still alive through the, all of that burst. Ah, I apparently can't talk anymore. Cardinals dies. Renji is untouched in the back. Do they actually have the damage? It's a double kill for x Craze. He jumps back in, trying to finish off Renji. The fight is just a mess. It's x Craze and Lipo lane against Tsuki are the last people alive. He'll shut down x Craze. Lane might be able to finish off the kill. The E is enough. It's an ace for ROTM. Ah, Wing stayed alive for forever, but eventually just lost the AD carry duel, kind of, to Renji, who also then just died to x Craze, And it sets up the ending where Lane is left with like three quarters health trying to chase down Tisuki. Eventually kills him with the E. Gonna try to chomp down this dragon and extend the Cloud Soul timer. I think he gets it. This is building drama for no reason. Uh, he does not get this, though, if Hostego wants to come in. I guess he doesn't. Alright, we gotta pace ourselves. We still got 15 more minutes of this, somehow. Uh, it's a 4 kill lead. It's only about a 2,000 gold lead, though, for Lamp Post. It feels like it's a little bit more because of the relative positions on the map that they've got. But it's really only the one tower advantage, even. Like, this is a, a pretty even game, all things considered. I, I don't know why it feels Lamp Post favorite right now. Uh, I'll try to think about why that might be. But I think it's because we consistently see them win team fights. That last one is the one exception so far. I don't know why they're baiting a bush right now. There's still a minute 20 on the Baron. There's no reason to check in if you're ROTM. You get a couple buffs, get another minion wave or two, and then start to check in. Then it would be time to bait. It just seems like they're kind of unsure about how to manage the situation. They really need Tisuki with them to tank up the Baron, but he's also the only one who's capable of split pushing against Cardinals. But they're, yeah, now they're finally getting some of these wave shoving. So they have mid prio. Now they're starting to get uh, their top lane pushing as well, thanks to Leroy. This will start putting the pressure onto ROTM. And lane and Cardinals are going to go for the play onto Tisuki. So they're willingly giving up Baron for this. Uh, they will get the kill eventually. Uh, but you can't die on the other side of the map. That's also an important part of this. Dogmar 
Oh, Hastega jumps in. Winged is so low, he dies to the red buff, just barely. They're still chasing down Tisuki on the other side of the map. It'll eventually go over to Cardinals, I'm sure. Yeah. But what are they losing on the other side? They're, it's not the Baron immediately. They still have those timers, but they lost one turret. They're going to lose a second as well, and potentially this inhibitor. And uh, along with their two carries, you can't contest right now. Oh, this is getting hashtag dicey. Leroy's really low. Cardinals is just going to assassinate him. Okay, nicely done there. Lane trying to jump in. They just don't have the damage to chunk through the turrets right now. The big fight. Hasteka Chrono breaks back. Black Salt able to stopwatch away. That stopwatch has been invaluable. And Hastega will go down to Cardinals as well. So Cardinals had a really good opening to the game. Had kind of a rough mid-game. But these last couple of fights have been really nicely played. Lane is forcing still. I don't... I don't love that, but we'll see if it pays off for him. Cardinals get CC'd up by the Nautilus. Dark Binding lands onto Renji. Look at the Death's Dance healing just chunking through. They'll finally finish off Dogmar. It, it's not an ace. Tisuki just respawned. Uh, but four people off the map. They're looking at Baron. Uh, Caitlyn gets stuck in the minions, has to clear him out first. This isn't... Why is... Alright, so Tisuki should have just been running to Baron. He has Feast available. He can outfeast anybody right now. Uh, he just needs to be able to get into the pit. Spooky Ghost finds X Craze. He's gonna just turn onto the LeBlanc, Charm Lands. X Craze is just buying him time. He's gonna buy them the Baron! What are they doing? All right, my voice kind of hurts. I've been talking nonstop for 40 minutes. I, I guess longer than that, because I talked for game one. Um, yeah, you you go get the Baron. Y you have Feast. Just leave, leave X-Craze to deal with Ari. Ari wins that fight eventually, probably. Even if he doesn't, it doesn't matter. If you get the Baron, you win the game. All right, 20, 28 seconds on Cloud Soul. It's another potential big swing. Cardinals has to dash out. He has a Guardian Angel, so he can die once, uh, but probably not in that spot. Wouldn't be ideal. And now it's hard to check through all of this. They're going to grab mid-pride. Our ROTM in exchange potentially for this dragon. No, still going to pinch in. I think you just you just shove it in mid, right? I Do they think they can win the fight? I, we're really seeing a lot about the Platinum team right now. Well, this version of the Platinum team. They're doing Cloud Soul. Dogmar hooks in. It's a good Black Shield from Black Salt so far. Knock up onto Wing Nation in the back is keeping him out of doing DPS on the fight. Big Chrono Break onto the front line. Cardinals is just tearing through as is X Craze. This is turning for ROTM. They get two kills. Man, all of these bait abilities, the the stopwatch for Black Salt, the Black Shield, the Guardian Angel, just so valuable in this fight. x craze jumps over, he assassinates Leroy. It's Cloud Soul for ROTM. Cardinals is defending base right now. He has to defend against these super minions. They didn't quite lose that Nexus turret. So there's still no like backdoor possibility unless you just buy a ton of time. Uh, for Lamp Post. They also don't have the best factor. I guess Hastega on Echo is about as good as you get. And honestly, that's pretty good with a Lich Bane. Get a Lich Bane, get me that blue elixir, and those towers go. Don't really think Cho'Gath ever makes it into Pit there. I, You have to try, right? Like, it, it's just game winning. It's not game losing if you die. But if you get the Baron, you win the game. Like, it, it's just the objective. I, you might get stonewalled, for sure. Like, that that definitely could happen. But there's no reason to turn on the Ari. It's just prioritization. I, I Maybe this is Bronze 1 Analyst coming through. But, like, you should value winning the game above anything else. And instead, he took the kill on to uh, X Craze.
All right, so our team kind of now has map control. Um, they have to be careful. Actually, this this will be the last super wave. So, well, the last one was the last super wave. Now the turntables. Uh, gonna try to set the pickup in the lamppost jungle. Here at 43 minutes into the game. I haven't looked at item builds in a while. I'm assuming they're fine. Um, yeah, the Cho'Gath build's super weird, but whatever. Uh, Spooky Ghost gonna slow him down. This could be the engage opportunity for Lamppost. Black Salt actually just eats all of the CC. He jumps in, he has the Soul Shackles onto two. This could be the fight for ROTM. Renji is super low. x Craze dashes back out. Wing Nation's untouched in the back, though. He's just starting to layer in those autos. He'll have a Peacemaker through. Dogmar scoops in a couple. Just watch Wing Nation in this fight. Cardinals jumps through. Don't even bother watching Wing Nation. Watch Cardinals. Cardinals is trying to win the game. Uh, Wing just dies to Echo. This fight is a mess. All right. Um, Hostega is huge. Hostega gonna get stunned up. He'll die. It's a triple kill for Cardinals. Teleport gonna come in. It's Tisuki. I guess he died at the start of the fight. Oh, he's so fast! He's got the slow from the Super Soaker, hits the s silence into some more slows. Charm in on the liposuction lane. They can't finish him off, though. Cardinals is just so threatening, apparently, on the other side with his monkey. What a mess. All right, four for three for RTM. At the end of the day, they got a turret as well. Um, Winged has to find a way to live. I... He's got no attack speed. That's such a weird build. I, I don't know if that's right. I, I'm not as up to date on everything. But, like, he has no attack speed at all. Other than Storm Razor, I guess. I think if you get Phantom Dancer, you just live through the fight and win, maybe? Or you get Mav Malmortius? But I don't know what you replace. I, I, this is Bronze 1 analysis. I... You need one of those items, I feel like, in order to live. But I don't know which one, and I don't know which to replace. So, there. Expert analysis. Done. Cool. Uh, on the other side, Renji also needs something more defensive. I th uh, his build's probably right. I don't like it, but it's probably right. Uh, what else? I'd really like to see... I, I hope this is a Knight's Vow last for lane. Or a Warmog's. I, I don't know which, but one of those two items would be really cool. Uh, late on. I hope it's not Spirit Visage. Uh, he gets Charmed. Forced to Flash. That could be important later on. Gonna grab some Healy Fruit before the heal debuff war wears off, importantly. But he's got a lot of passive healing. Renji just going to try to clear bottom wave. He actually missed it. Um, or he doesn't have enough damage to clear it. One of the two. They're setting up over the wall. They have that one shred of vision in the side bush. Baron has spawned. Uh, one minute on Elder. So we could start... it. If this stalls out for another minute, we could see that handshake trade. Charm lands onto Black Salt as they're trying to force. Lane gets a stun on. Just going to run into the redemption for that little bit of extra heal. But a couple of engage tools down. Uh, you know, not huge ones. It's the, it's just the redemption, actually, I think, um, in terms of a big cooldown. Still checking the Baron. Tisuki doesn't have teleport. So if they see him again in bottom... That, that was why they picked the engage to begin with, was, of course, because they saw Cho'Gath in bottom lane. Ooh, 30 sec 20 seconds on this Elder Dragon. This is... Alright. I think you want Elder over Baron right now. I, I don't know 100%. Ooh, x Craze can't quite finish off that kill, and now he's going to get hooked in. Has the stopwatch available. Able to reset that W cooldown. That's super important. Wing going to get knocked up on the back end of this. Still has cleanse available if he... Er, yeah, the cleanse available if he needs it, but he's just hammering down onto Dogmar. And this is the front-to-back front -back fight that they needed. Tisuki's dead. Uh, so is Dogmar. So both of the frontliners, essentially, for a lamppost. And Wink can set up these traps around the Elder Dragon that it looks like they're going to prioritize over the Baron. 
Caitlyn's actually got a lot of attack speed base, it looks like. That's interesting. Okay. Yeah, Hastega's not going to be able to get in there. And you don't have as real ult. This is... They're just giving up Elder right now. So they've got the stall on for... Two and a half minutes? So, Elder's going to guarantee Baron. Great. Uh, now you need to end the game with these buffs, I feel like. Which, I, I mean, you're set up to do. Like, everybody's about as strong as they're going to get. Ooh! That was a little close. Uh, going to work out, though. Uh, so Baron goes over to RTM. 6,000 gold lead. It feels like after that kind of out-of-control mid-game, we're firmly back in control. Um, no longer being threatened on the Nexus turrets as well. No real threat from Hastega just going and taking the base immediately. So now, how do our teams set up? 131 it looks like is going to be the call, or x Grace is going to join mid for a 4-1. Uh, Cardinals doesn't have teleport, so they really need to get these minion waves all the way in uh, before we start looking at an actual siege which is going to waste most of the rest of the Elder Timer, uh, which may or may not matter. I, I guess we'll see. Uh, x rays is top. Yeah, so this is officially a 1-3-1 setup. He's actually just messing around up there. Uh, so the Elder buff's going to expire here in a second. Ooh, they got two turrets, though. That was close. Uh, I, I guess I don't know how close it is. I could click on somebody and see. Yeah, there goes Elder. Okay. Oh, no, it's still up. What? Oh, it doesn't actually have a timer. I guess I need to keep better track. x rays goes forward. It should be up for sure. Maybe I'm losing my mind. Uh, yeah. Knockup gonna land. They're trying to defend their last Nexus Tower <laughs> as the minions come in. Dogmar gets hit up. Lane trying to finish him off. He doesn't actually shut off that turret because it just dies. Everybody's just kind of vaguely blue. I guess it's the Cloud Soul that's throwing me off. Yeah, that last siege was kind of anticlimactic, honestly. Uh, they didn't want to fight for their last Nexus turret because they were trying to wait out the buffs, but instead, the, they don't, so it just... the game ends. Uh, yeah, there's a lot to unpack. It felt in control for the most part. There was kind of that wild swing through mid-game, but outside of the one push into base, it didn't feel like Lamppost were ever in control of the game. Uh, they just had that one opportunity to kind of steal it from the from the clutches of ROTM. Um, yeah, in general, I liked their draft a lot better this game. They actually had winning lanes, which is nice to help play the game. Uh, I don't have a whole lot more analysis. Uh, yeah, I've talked for an hour and a half, so I'm going to just throw a little bit of music on and then we're going to say goodnight. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you don't follow the stream, please do. I think all of you follow, though, so that's just not really an issue. This is really champ select music. Ah, there we go. Okay, I feel it now. Alright, uh, thanks guys.